Hey everybody, this is Technoli. And today I want to start this video by saying thank you. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for getting me over a thousand subscribers. We're up to like 1400 or something now. It's unbelievable. Uh, thank you for all your, you know, help and, and growing this channel. It, it is really appreciated. It's getting a little out of control because it's, it's grown so fast and I'm just a one man show. So bear with me with answering questions uh, because I have Facebook, I have the chat on the internet, which right now uh, on the website where you, where you can chat with me, that's a live chat just from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday uh, Pacific Standard Time. So I had to eliminate that because I was getting, you know, uh, chat requests in the middle of the night. So I'm um, sorry I had to do that. Your emails and everything, those are great. No problems there. You can send those whenever you like. And of course, commenting on Facebook, or I'm sorry, commenting on YouTube helps me the most. It helps support the channel because YouTube likes to see a lot of activity that you know, people are interacting with the channel as opposed to off-channel stuff. So I really appreciate that more than anything is to ask questions. But we, when we get into more difficult situations, then I like to just deal one-on-one -on -one with you guys because it can be pretty uh, crazy. But today's video is to finally resolve the issue of the UHD 630 onboard graphics uh, for Intel. I've got a lot of people, it's probably my most requested fix is to help them fix the onboard graphics because maybe they don't want to use a graphics card, they don't need one, or they have an ITX motherboard and they don't, you know, they don't need to have a card or don't want a card in there because they're in a small case. So I want to do this video because my other video about fixing the 630 chipset doesn't fix it for everybody. So this one should be much more uh, uh, correct for your particular motherboard. And that's what we're trying to do here because, you know, guys, all of these motherboards are different. I haven't tested them all. I would love to test them all. And I would love for you guys to send me boards that you really like and let me do a video on them. That would help grow the channel too. All I ask is you pay shipping. I don't charge you anything for my time. Um, so what we're gonna do here is try to fix this. So let's assume that you're up, um, that you're, you're, you're building your USB stick. Now, big problem with 630 Intel chipsets is, is that it will cause your system not to, to not even boot when you're trying to load the OS to start with. So you'll, you'll get to these errors and you'll say, well, I didn't see that in, in uh, Technoli's video. You know, there was no error. Well, that's because you're using onboard graphics and not the same graphics card I was using or one of those RX, you know, 570, 580, 590, uh, 5700, or my Vega 56, one of those. See, those are natively supported by Mac OS. And so the 630 is supported, but we have to make some uh, adjustments. And right now, this video is just on the Clover uh, builds. I'm working on open core to fix all 630 chipsets, but right now this is on Clover. I'm sorry this has taken so long to get into it, but I wanted you guys to understand what's going on. So let's get right into this. So let's say that we're building the USB stick for your new build. So what you want to do is you want to be, so let's say this is your Clover folder and we want to go into the config.plist, right click and open with Clover. Now in the description down below, I'm going to give you a link to this web page. Okay, let's pull it up. This is on that Tony Mac website, and this is a great guide, fantastic guide, I finally found it, to get us to fix this without too much pain. So if you'll, this is a really big uh, 
article about all this and how to do everything. But scroll down here. Keep scrolling, guys, until you get down here to where it shows you compilation of patches for various motherboards. Okay. Here's the design air. Right now, I'm on my MSI Gaming Plus. So I'm going to click here and see all this wonderful... This is a fix for it, okay? So this is really easy to do, guys. But don't assume that, oh, I've got an ASRock, so I'll just use this one. No, you need to use the one that is built for your manufacturer because they're all different. They're all different. So what you need to do is, is go over here in your Clover and go to text mode, okay? And then what we want to look for is this text, key properties. So you, you can't you can't mess this up. You can't change things on here. You have to be very careful or it'll ruin your whole uh, config.p list. So just scroll here until you see, there it is, key properties, key, okay? So what we want to do is, let's assume this is your existing. Now your existing is going to look more like, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Okay. It's going to look more like this. It's going to be small. It's going to be like this. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to copy all of this. So I'm going to get down here to the bottom because it's easier to go up with the mouse and just start copying. Notice it's arrow forward slash dict. Okay. So, and there's two of them. Go ahead and copy all of them. Go right up to the top right there to the edge of key with that little dat or that arrow copy it now go over here to where it says key highlight all the way down to right there okay real simple just right click and paste now click synchronize okay now make sure there's no spacing here we'll go up the top and make sure we don't have any spacing Okay, we're good. So there's no spacing. That's it, guys. Then all you do is go down here and click Save. Now, if you'll notice, I'm going to quit Clover. If you'll notice right now, on this computer, I'm only showing that 7 megabytes. See this bar down here is not transparent, so I don't have my accelerated graphics. So what this did, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to show you where it changed some information. All right. So if we go down here to devices and go to properties, it added all of this stuff right here. So it added everything here, all of these items for you in, in one giant thing. You don't have to edit anything here. So um, now we're going to just reboot. And as soon as this comes back, We'll check and see if our graphics are enabled correctly. Okay, so we're back up. Uh, the bar is transparent. That's a good thing. Let's go over here about this Mac. And there we go. It always shows, you know, 1,536 megabytes. It's higher than that, but that's what it shows. But we have our accelerated graphics and everything is much more snappy and quick and wonderful and everything else. So not too long of a video today, guys. Um, we've got uh, some real exciting builds coming up. Uh, I'm doing a high end. I'm doing a Ryzen 9 3900X. Okay, and we're going to compare it with our i9 9900K because the processor price is just about the same. So that's going to be a fun video. Um, I'll have that maybe late in the week. Okay? Thanks so much, guys. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.